Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today, we're uh, going to be looking at the concept builder on physicsclassroom.com uh, under the topic Waves and Sound, and the title is Wavelength. So the apprentice level uh, talks about wave anatomy, and basically it's looking, making sure you can identify the places where the medium is displaced a maximum amount. In terms of a longitudinal wave like this one, um, we're looking at places where the pressure is greater or less than normal. Okay, at a spot like this, we can see it's squeezed together. And so that we call a compression. At other spots, uh, like right, whoops, like right here, it's more spread out than normal, uh, less pressure. And so places with less pressure are called rare factions. All right. And so there's a question that has you identify the compressions and one that identifies the rare factions. So all of these here, 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 and here are compressions and rare fractions would be the spread out spaces in between. On a transverse wave, like we see down here, then we have two places. Uh, it's, they're always drawn vertically like this. And so the one at the top is the crest and the one at the bottom is the trough. Okay. Um, and you just have to identify, I think on this one, it has you count the number of crests and troughs. So you would just go through and you'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11 crests and troughs. Okay. All right. The next level, master level, let's clear that. Let's see, clear screen. Um, the next level has you count waves. Okay. Keep in mind a whole wave, oops, a whole wave is until it repeats itself. So that would be a whole wave. Um, so each little hump is half a wave. So one, so the easiest way to do this is count by halves. Each of these is 0.5. So we just go 0.51, 1.52, 2.53, 3.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1 and then, whoops, what is that? Well, that's going to turn into our decimal point, our 0.5. So 5.5, .5, this one would have 5.5 .5 waves. So you just count. Uh, once again, 0 0.5, 1.1, 1.5, 2, 2.52, 3.53, 4, sorry, 3.54, 4.55, The final level of this uh, has you um, has you uh, calculate the wavelength. They give you a length of a whole set of waves, which will be L in this formula. The number of waves that you just counted, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.52, is going to be N, and W will be the wavelength. Since in this equation, you're calculating for the wavelength, let's just really quickly get wavelength by itself. That means we have to divide both sides by n, so these n's cancel, and we see w equals l over n. Okay, so for uh, this first, this this one example we're going to do together, uh, w would be a length of 88 meters divided by, and then we would. Uh, uh, you have to count, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1.52, 1 2 2.53, 3.54, 4.55, 5.5. 5 so this entire thing is 5.5 uh, waves long. So 5.5 waves. And you don't have to write waves, 
certainly if you do, you can write it better than I just did. Anyway, so we do 8.8 .8 divided by 5.5 .5, and we find W equals 22. And notice the units are going to be meters per wave. Uh, and, so, and since the definition is how, how long is one wave, so 22 meters is the length. Hope you enjoyed learning us with us here on the Scientific Adventures of Beardman. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If And then please click that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you the next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beardman.